but it's still very, very punishable. You can just swing. Yeah, and we're gonna jump into our very next set. If you're just joining us, this is Edmund and Bash. We're going to Battlefield. This is game number one between Kevin H and Oracle. I'm so glad I could read that despite the lead, the lead speak. Yeah, Show, showing my age a little good bit. Good job translating. <laughs> Sorry, I actually didn't need that. Um, Showed my age a little bit. Yeah, so I believe Oracle is a pretty well-known Samus, right? Uh, I'm not familiar with them, but uh, one thing I can say is that this might actually be a matchup that may be slightly in his favor. I mean, Luigi still has those uh, killer uh, death combos, but uh, Samus can play the zoning game, which is a something that Luigi will suffer to a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things where uh, if you try and neutral be with Luigi, where now he's got the full charge shot, right? So he's got that on deck. As soon as the Luigi tries to new like, use neutral B and they're standing at each other, you just charge shot of that immediately. And it's basically a free charge shot. Yeah. And charge shot is uh, pretty useful. You he pretty much like wants to be constantly charging, charging it. When you have a full charge like that, it puts the threat in your opponent's head. And so it makes them play a lot differently. You can start punishing their options. Uh, we got the ledge trapping here with the morph balls at the ledge. Or the, uh, their morph, morph bombs? I forgot what they're called. I think it's morph bombs. Yeah. Morph bombs. Uh, okay, back here. Uh, this is really bad for Luigi. Uh, doesn't have the best recovery in this game, but he's, fortunately for him, he's able to make it back. Oh, okay. That would have been a hard punish, but he's going to pick it up with... I uh, actually wasn't sure what that he, move he threw out. I think it was a neutral air. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see the Samus in that situation go out a little bit more and, and maybe use back air, but at that percentage, you can kind of let it go a little bit. Yeah, there's the, the charge shot through the, yeah. the fireball. Yeah, that was a really smart play as well. Um, there's a lot of lag on that fireball, and because the uh, charge shot transcends the fireball, it's a really good like option to wait for a Luigi to throw out the fireball, and it's like, boom, just react with it. There's the up air coming out. Oracle hiding behind, below this platform, getting a forward air. Uh oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, right there, Kevin H was probably got up onto the, uh, off the ledge, shielded, expecting the uh, charge shot to come out, and that gave Oracle a free grab. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the things that Samus can be very scared. Ooh, and he just gets the charge shot, just raw on the neutral get up. Uh, but yeah, that, that's what makes Samus really scary. Is just like the mental pressure of she can cover a lot of different options. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's a it's a character that you kind of have to play like mo most of the time. You have to play s slow and methodical with because she doesn't have like the best frame data. So it's, it's she's not a boxer. She's not a close quarter fighter at, in the slightest. But she's yeah. got some really great juggle tools and of course the zoning game as we mentioned before. All right, great pick up on the forward smash right there, catching Oracle overextending past the ledge with the upbeat. Uh, still has two stocks to go here and there's quite a bit of percentage. Already racked up onto that 43. Oh, okay. Yeah. Starting to make a bit of a comeback. Yeah, and one thing about Samus that I think does hurt Luigi a little bit here is one, she's a very heavy character, but two, she's a floaty character. Yeah. So I think, I believe she's top 10 for, for weight in the, the whole game. Or at least she's like pretty pretty high up there. She's, she's up there, yeah. She's not light in the slightest. So she's very hard to KO, but she's very floaty, which makes it very difficult, I think, for Luigi to combo her because those up airs send her way farther away than, like, you know, for example, a traditional heavy would go, where you can usually chain, you know, three of those together and it's no problem. But there, she gets one and, you know, she's already kind of away. All right, and an up smash here from Kevin H. He's starting to close the gap a little bit. Definitely uh, playing with a little bit more focus. He's throwing out these tether grabs by the ledge. It does have a hitbox, and it's intercepting right now. Oh, getting the up smash, just reacting to the roll off the ledge. 89% here on Kevin H. It's not too bad. It's definitely within the, the realm of possibility, but he's got to watch out for this charge shot now. He's definitely scared. Yeah, I mean, right now, Sam's going to play pretty Ooh. patient. Ooh. Yeah, Samus can just play pretty patient. She's got a lot of options to kind of, you know, take away Luigi's tools and Luigi's threats and to be able to finish off the stock if she gets them. Yeah, and it's definitely really on Oracle to not overcommit. Oh, but that dash attack, just as I say it, Kevin H overextends with it, getting the cross up the shield and an easy forward smash punch. I mean, he even could have just, like, let the uh, charge shot rip right there because he had it fully charged with it. He, he chose to, to go for a different option. I can respect it. But um, I had a surplus still. of riches of options there. Yeah. You know, could have could have could have let it <laughs> rock with the charge shot. Could have down tilted maybe. Even, oh, down tilt might have actually done it too. Yeah. 
sense. That's true. <laughs> just kind of like, how do I want to swag on you in this situation? <laughs> exactly. Dude, what if you just like went for some crazy setup? Nah, you didn't have enough time. But uh, yeah, that was a really close game one, actually. I mean, if uh, Kevin H can get his uh, combo game a little bit more tightened up, and uh, I don't know if he knows or, or has practiced the uh, zero to death combo, like, that, I mean, that's one up B, like at a, a low enough percentage or high enough percentage, I should say, which is just a low percent <laughs> most of the time. Uh, we'll do it. So, see if we can find it here in game number two. We can start to see the combo game coming out. I like it. Uh, Kevin H starting to play more aggressive, uh, recognizing that if you do play scared and give Samus the space that she needs to put up her wall of projectiles using the missiles and the charge shot, then she's going to get away with murder. And right here, we can see it start to come to fruition with the lead that Kevin H has. Oh, oh my god. He gets a little bit lucky that missile manages to uh, flank the, the misfire for Oracle, yeah. saving him. Uh, Probably would have been just uh, a kill time. right there. I'm pretty, sure she, I'm pretty sure Oracle is dead. Oh, there's the forward smash. She's going to die to that. And only 57% here on Kevin H, looking like an entirely different player on this game, too. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a much better job of just kind of like staying just outside of Samus's threat bubble, where she's able to, you know, kind of exert a presence around her, herself, but he's just managing to be right near it, and she's still throwing out moves. And going into punch. Yeah, 96% here for Kevin H. Uh oh, Oracle going down for the down air, but the uh, green missile actually gonna put a wrench in her plans. Yeah, just a slightly misplaced forward smash. That's always uh, disappointing. You're like, I got him. Uh, no, I don't. I'm gonna. I see. I see. I see. Um, Oracle going for these uppies in neutral a lot. That's something that Kevin H needs to look out for because it's, it's going to be heavily punishable. And I mean, he could pretty much just like, oh, you, you're gonna throw that. You whiff. Here's an uppie. Yeah. Or uh, even try and just chain off stage yeah. and try and hold there too. This is the tag there. Uh, doesn't really get a, a punish. I think there you can kind of like charge shot as Samus. And there's not a lot to do there where their only option really is to roll in. But if they roll away or if they just, like people get up there, the, the charge bubble is connected. Yeah, very true. All right, Kevin H. Got control of the stage. Ledge trapping here, attempting. Got the forward smash, and I like the quick wa uh, wave landing on the platform. Uh, just a little uh, movement showcase. Goes off stage, tries to get the, uh, the spike on the down air. But does manage to get it. Neutral get up, read, and uh, Kevin H finishes off that stock. And up smash, gonna do a trick. And he's uh, looking good to move on to this game number three. If he can uh, tack on a little bit more damage, he can start to play a little bit more patient neutral. But I mean, even, even still, it, with this percent lead, it behooves uh, Kevin H to still p be the aggressor, right? As we were talking about earlier, if you, if you sit and let Samus have her space, that's where she's gonna get the most damage. That's where she's gonna start to condition you to do what she wants and then get her KOs. Yeah, you can't really let Samus players or any range character like that yeah. set up and get real cozy in one area and just throw at you because you know, that's never really gonna work out too well for you. One interesting thing I'm noticing here is the, the side beat from Luigi goes under the missile actually. Uh, when he lands, oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a point where he low profiled one of the uh, the non homing missiles with it, and it was just that's uh, just like a little that's goofy. Wonky, yeah. <laughs> that's wack that's, that's pretty wacky. All right, quick forward air right there, dash attack on the landing from Oracle. He finds the charge shot. He's only at 77 percent. Uh, this is pretty good. He can definitely make this comeback, especially if he slows it down. He's got four and a half minutes on the clock. Yeah, I think one thing that uh, Kevin H has done a lot better in this game is just kind of keeping Oracle at a disadvantage, where right now he's just kind of keeping him over it the whole time. There's not really a point for him to get down, and he's just trying to drop these bombs to try and create a little bit of space for himself, but he's not managing to find that opening to get down to, you know, the very bottom of the stage, he's sitting on these platforms where Kevin H has access to them. Okay, Kevin H on this platform manages to make his way back to center stage. He's got to be careful. Oh my god, running in and with the shield. That's so scary, man. Especially since, like, you know, perfect shields don't work the same. It's like, you don't really want to try to do that most of your time. Like, you're mostly jumping over projectiles in this game. Yeah, if you try and parry that and you miss, and you're done. Oh, jeez. That's, uh, oh. All right, the tide may have turned here for Oracle. He's got the charge shot, shoots it. Kevin H jumping right over it. 
but he's at 103% now. This is anybody's game if Kevin each can even find himself off the ledge. Yeah, I mean, Oracle's putting a lot of pressure on him just by throwing these missiles at him as well as charging at center stage. It's kind of like, you gotta come to me, but I'm still gaining advantage. Absolutely, and they're both playing extremely patient. Uh, Oracle mostly fighting from the corner, of course. That's like going to be her sweet spot. The forward throw, not enough. Fireball's coming out, and there's a forward air attempt. She can still make it back. Oh, a little bit misspaced with the Zare. I would have liked to have seen a, a, a maybe like a harder punish, and that's going to do it. An up smash, bringing us to game number three. Kevin H putting himself on the board. Yeah, this is going to be uh, our first uh, game yeah, three tonight. Yeah, absolutely. The, the adaptation uh, from Kevin H and Oracle even in this game number two has been really tremendous. Uh, like Kevin H just adapting overall from game number one and then Oracle just adapting in those last stocks to bring it back to an even situation. Kevin H, of course, managing to find the victory. Uh, and let's see where we're going to go. Yeah, I mean, it might get a stage switch up since we did Battlefield yeah, the first Battlef two. It was Battlefield for uh, the first two games. And I think they picked um, Carlos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. I hope they pick a good song. I don't think they picked one, so we'll see what, uh, we'll hope, see what the switch I hope is set the, to yeah, here. I hope, I hope RNG has a good song for us. Yeah, I mean, that last game was also a long one. I think the yeah. it lasted five, over five minutes, which yeah. that's Go. definitely outside the, the average. I mean, that's kind of natural, I feel like, with the, with, with Samus players, because it's just that's just how she plays. It's like no no uh, no shade to the Samus players. It's just her game plan. Okay, he's up being a lot oh. neutral right here. It, it, he can do that safely right now, because he's only at 25%. I don't think a uh, up B will kill. And also, maybe he's recognized that um, Kevin H hasn't really gone for those too much. Yeah, Kevin H's combo game seems like a really woke yeah. up there. Oh, absolutely. 70% actually onto uh, Oracle off of one combo. Maybe he just remembered how to uh, combo the, the floaty. Ooh. Uh, but heavyweight class here. <laughs> Air dodge is into the missile, doesn't quite get it. Oracle backing up to center stage, gonna get caught by that up smash. Kevin H looking for the whirlwind kill. Or actually, I don't think it would have killed, just some extra damage. Yeah, I mean, Oracle threw out one too many uh, forward airs there, where he just kind of jumps, throws out the forward air. First one, kind of get away with it. Second one, uh, Kevin H is gonna let you get away with that one. Up smash is gonna be the, the uh, kill move right here. Kevin H moving up a stock in this game number three. Definitely looking totally different from, from that game number one, where I think we kind of kind of just didn't know the answer around Oracle's uh, Oracle's projectile walls, and the answer was to just smother her. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's, he's really adapting in this matchup, and he's doing a really good job of staying alive. I mean, when you have this high a percentage. Yeah. But, you know, the goal is to stay alive, right? You know, it's not necessarily to rack up damage on them. It's not necessarily to kill them. The longer you stay alive, the more you're really pissing them off. And the more they're going to try and come in at you and put themselves in a bad you know, position. That's, ver that's very true. I mean, like, that, that goes, you know, if, if you're watching from home and you, you uh, struggle a lot from playing from behind, I mean, just... Just do it. Just camp if you need to. I mean, it's it's a big mental game right there. If you're, if you're like down in percent, you know, a lot of people think like, okay, I don't have to approach. Like they have to approach, and you just you know decide to not approach. They're like, man, why is he not approaching? Why is he not approaching? And That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight minutes. Eight a long time. Eight minutes is a long time. <laughs> But we're down to two stocks apiece here, relatively even percents, 108 on Kevin H to Oracles of 100. Up air here from Kevin H. Trying to find a landing, and he finds it with a back air on that right platform. Down to the last stock, charge shot here, not enough, but tacking on the damage for sure. Yeah, I mean, Oracle kind of feels like he's going to these platforms. Right now. Yeah. And there, I mean, Kevin H was like, all right, you're going to go there, I'm going to find you. So a really good play from Kevin H for sure. Still yeah. yet to find any uh, extra credit on this stock. Here it is, the grab. Oh, oh no! Oh, can we see it? Does he have it on we the do! Yes, baby, Kevin H, closing out that set in style. We were, we wanted it. We were begging for it, and boy, did we get it! Absolutely brilliant.
That was great, man. He lost game one. I, I, I have to be honest, like I wasn't too sure like if he was going to be able to clutch out the next two games. But he proved me wrong, and I'm happy, the, I'm happy he did. Got he the mental fortitude on deck. That's, you know? that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's so easy to give up. Like, you lose that first game, you're like, fuck me. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to go 0-2 in pools. No one wants to go 0-2 in pools. You start thinking about it.